I was not ready at all for a PSVR 2 adapted to PC to be announced today, uh, but it was. We just had confirmation about four minutes ago from the time recording that PSVR 2 players can access games on PC with adapter starting on August 7th. There's a PS blog that I'll link down below, but essentially, it looks very similar to the connection unit on my DPVR E4. It seems it's going to be connecting through a couple of cables, very reminiscent of the old um, breakout box for the PSVR 1 as well. But we're going to have a look through here as I show you the image uh, that they put on the uh, on the website. So Yasuo Takahashi says, when PSVR 2 launched last year, we were thrilled to introduce PS5 players to a new generation of VR games with innovative gameplay and immersive sensory features. Inspired by our passion to bring gamers even more content options, we've been working to enable access to additional games on PC, complementing the diverse PSVR 2 games lineup available on PS5. Today, we're happy to share that we'll be rolling out the support on August 7th, so quite soon. Players will have access to buy and play Steam's expansive library of thousands of VR games, including fan favorites like Half-Life Alex, Fallout 4 VR, and War Thunder. So they're directly promoting these games, kind of like a flagship thing to try out the PSVR 2 with, which is cool. To start, players will need to purchase a PSVR 2 PC adapter, which will be available for an estimated retail price of $59.99 and £49.99 here in the UK at select retailers and PlayStation Direct where available. Players will also need a commercially available DisplayPort cable sold separately that is compatible with DisplayPort 1.4 as well as a Steam account and a PC that meets the minimum requirements which we'll go through in a second. So yeah, you will need a DisplayPort cable which are, I mean to be honest they're pretty cheap but that is an additional cost on top of this little breakout box sort of thing that we're getting with the adapter. DisplayPort is common on most PCs. My PC has one. It's what I use to connect my DPVR, which is my current PC headset for sim racing. So that's pretty standard, to be honest. And DisplayPort means we'll be getting no compression, which is perfect. If you want an OLED headset that's not going to get compressed through USB or anything like that, DisplayPort is the way to go. I'm happy that they have gone through this, as I think the uh, USB-C on the front of the PS5 is DisplayPort enabled as well, which allows for no compression to the PSVR 2 when playing it on a PS5. But let's have a look at the minimum requirements here. So you must have Windows 10 or 11 64-bit. The minimum specs for processor are Intel Core i5-7600 or a Ryzen 3 100. Zen 2 or later architecture is required. You must have eight gigabytes of RAM or more with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 or later or an AMD RX 6500 XT or later. And also for the best performance, we recommend that you use either a 3060 or later or 6600 XT or later. So a fairly medium bar there for minimum requirements. Of course, you must have DisplayPort 1.4, must have a standard DisplayPort or mini DisplayPort output port, USB direct connection only for, I'm assuming the data for controllers as well. My DPVR E4 has the same thing where you got like plug in with DisplayPort and then plug in USB later and Bluetooth 4.0 or later. Setup is easy, simply connect PSVR 2 to your PC using the PSVR 2 PC adapter and the DisplayPort 1.4 cable. Then download the PSVR 2 app, so there is an app, and the SteamVR app from Steam. This will allow you to set up PSVR 2 on your PC, customize your settings and play area, and start purchasing and playing games in SteamVR. As with all PC gaming technology, performance may vary on your PC setup, including system compatibility and the quality of your DisplayPort cable. Please ensure your setup meets the minimum requirements. SteamVR titles all have individual system requirements too, so please refer to the game information on Steam. They go into talking about the feature differences as well. PSVR 2 was designed from the ground up for specifically for PS5. So you'll notice that some key features like HDR, headset feedback, eye tracking, adaptive triggers, and haptic feedback other than rumble are not available when playing on PC. However, other high fidelity and sensory immersion features of PSVR 2 are supported, including 4K visuals, 110 degree field of view, finger touch detection, and see-through view, as well as foveated rendering, without eye tracking, which is quite cool. We still have that supported and 3D audio in supported games. While the most immersive way to experience PSVR 2 gaming remains on PS5, we hope players will enjoy the ability to play an expanded lineup in VR games on PC using the same headset. You can check out Steam's huge library of multiplayer open worlds, survival horror and stealth action games, sports sims, puzzles, and free to play fan favorites on the Steam store. Additionally, as part of our days of play celebration, gamers in select regions can get $100 off PSVR 2 and the PSVR 2 Horizon Call the Mountain bundle until June 12th. Be sure to check PlayStation Direct available in select markets and participating local retailers as offers and promotions, blah, blah, blah may vary. Main thing here is it's really weird seeing Steam directly linked on a PS blog article because there are hyperlinks in here take you straight to the steam store and it seems that the actual ps 
the VR2 app on PC. It looks like it is downloadable from Steam and not from PlayStation website, which is a bit odd, but I'm really excited for this, man. I've been so excited to use my PSVR2 on PC. This is gonna enable that. It's gonna become my one and only headset for all platforms, which is just fucking crazy to me. I've had to lug around two headsets for PC and PSVR2 over the last year whenever I've moved around. So this is gonna streamline my process very much down. And I, I can't wait to test out and benchmark a bunch of games. We're gonna have so many videos coming, covering different games and setups. I'm really, really excited for it. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. There's a lot to unpack here and I'm still processing it myself. I just wanted to get this out here to you guys as soon as possible, breaking down everything they're talking about. The display port is confirmed. We've got a lot of wires here additionally with the adapter, but it's the same as the DPVRE4 method that I use in terms of that headset. You've got your power, your USB and your display port all doing different functions. So it is necessary, unfortunately but it's really exciting to have this and to have everything just connected and working with Steam VR, which is so, so exciting. So I can't wait for August 7th when this comes out. Sony, if you're listening, I would love to test this out early for you. Please, please, please. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you to our patrons as well. Luke Bentley, Phil Irving, Hazit Mirza, Ace Gamer, Hippie Pickle, Gen 007, a license to chill, Sun WTF, and Piosco. If you want to support the channel as well, we're trying to get to 10K, so feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.